There are five detrimental mistakes that cause most Roblox developers to fail before they even start. What you're about to hear will be some of the most important information you hear before you embark on your journey of Roblox game development. If you watch this video till the end, you won't just learn the mistakes Roblox developers make in their thinking and approach to game development on this platform, you will also learn the solution and how to lead a successful career on Roblox. My name's SmartyRBX and I teach Roblox developers how to build lucrative and sustainable careers on the Roblox platform. I've been on Roblox since 2015. I've been developing since around 2017. That's over eight years of experience. I've seen many developers succeed and I've seen many developers who had potential fail miserably and quit forever because they did some of the things I'm about to tell you in this video. If you don't want to be one of them, you need to watch this until the end. So first mistake, not tempering the default Roblox developer idealism. So we as developers generally have a lot of passion for our work and we have big goals. We start out on the platform and we want to make the next jailbreak or we want to make the next Brookhaven or the next Phantom Forces as our first game. We want to have all the fancy mechanics, lots of maps or an open world map. We want to have the best, most realistic graphics with PBR textures. We want to bring all of our friends from school or work or our family members into making this dream project. We are excited to make the next hit game on Roblox, make it as detailed and as high quality as possible, and hit the front page with lightning speed. And this is idealism, right? We're thinking about what could be. We're thinking about all our potential. We're thinking about making great creative projects. While the default Roblox developer idealism leads to a lot of creativity and a lot of good ideas, it also makes devs have super high expectations from the start. And they go into making their first game, making their dream game, and reality quickly punches them in the face. When they find out, it takes a lot of work to make these complex projects you wanna make. You're gonna to have to write thousands of lines of code. You're gonna to have to model things in Blender for hours and hours and hours. It might take years to finish your passion project. And when developers start working on their idea for their dream game, they often quit a few weeks in when they realize that they just can't finish it at their current skill level, or it will be incredibly difficult. Or they do finish this game, but then they drop it after a year or two, crickets. Nobody plays, nobody cares, and they quit. So you have to temper the default Roblox developer idealism. You have to tone back your expectations when you start. You can have big goals, but you gotta be realistic about what you can make at your current skill level. You gotta start small. I'll tell you how to fix this in the next point. The second mistake Roblox developers make is dream game syndrome. So this is part of the Roblox developer idealism. You're obsessed with making this complex game, the next jailbreak. I'm gonna tell you a story about my friend. My friend from a few years back when I was in high school, he knew that I had a channel on Roblox game development and he enjoyed playing Roblox, but he wasn't really a developer. But one day he decided to become a developer and he got his cousin to work with him on making a game. So they had this idea to make this shooter game. And he was always telling me about it. Bro, I'm going to add all these different guns. I'm going to add all these maps. It's going to be so cool. I'm going to add this feature and this feature and this feature. All this unique stuff. So he keeps telling me about this game for weeks. And every time that I see him, I'm, I talk to him. I'm like, hey, bro, how's the game going? And he just keeps telling me about the ideas. He keeps telling me about all the stuff he's going to do. How massive it's going to be. And at the time, I didn't know everything that I'm teaching you in this video. So I wasn't able to inform him and push him in the right direction. But him and his cousin both started learning about development. They actually went on YouTube. They started watching tutorials about scripting, about building. They started practicing and leveling up their skills, which is great. But every time I saw him, week after week, I would ask him about his game. And every time he'd say, ah, oh, bro, I haven't started it yet. Ah, oh, bro, we haven't really made much progress. And then it came to the point where months went by. And by that time, it was pretty clear that he wasn't going to make the project at all. Right, so you can see he had a lot of excitement to make his dream game. He even started learning about it and working with his cousin. But then 
When it came to doing the actual work, he realized on some level of consciousness that it was going to be too difficult for him and he wasn't willing to do it. And now you can see why most Roblox developers quit. This happens to so many devs out there. And my friend is just one example. I don't want to hear more stories like this. You can keep your dream game idea in mind, but you have to make simple games first. You have to start small, make hot potato, make an obby, make a simulator, something with a small project scope. That way you can build skill and if you monetize it, start to earn funds that will help you to fund better games as you progress in your career. You can make your complex projects later. All right, the third mistake Roblox developers make is putting passion before strategy. This is something I've been talking a lot about on this channel because most Roblox developers have zero career strategy. They don't know what they're doing. They don't have goals and they don't have a plan to take themselves from what they're creating now to having a thriving career in a year from now where they have hundreds of players, hundreds of thousands of Robux earned, a successful game or commissions. They don't have a strategy to take them from where they are now to where they want to be. And all the problems we're talking about stem from this exact issue. They're putting passion before strategy. They're putting their love for development and making their dream game and making these projects they're super excited about first, rather than focusing on strategy, the logical plan to reach your goals and make a sustainable career on the platform, which involves making simple games first and building up to making those complex passion projects you wanna make one day. You have to temper that developer idealism tone it back, and then make simple games like what we did in Jimmy Games. And then these games will allow you to build skill and earn funds that help you to invest in better games as you progress in your career. You need funds to make a lot of those complex projects you want to make because it costs money to hire developers. And these games require you to be able to hire devs a lot of the time. If you don't want it to take all your time and effort, in studio, if you want leverage, you need to be able to hire other people to help you. Hire UI designers, scripters, builders, modelers. You need all these different skills in order to make a Roblox game. Making those simple games on your own and doing other methods to earn money and Robux allow you to gather the funds needed to pay other devs later to help you make more complex projects. This is a much more rational, realistic way to go about Roblox development that most people never consider. All right, the fourth mistake that Roblox developers make is perfectionism. Perfectionism is basically thinking that whatever you make has to be perfect. And you can see how all of these things connect together. Really, dream game syndrome and a lot of the default Roblox developer idealism that we see comes from perfectionism. Having these extremely high standards that are unrealistic for a new developer to live up to, thinking that your game has to be massive and have an open world map and have all these fancy mechanics, all these models when you start. But you don't need that. And it's better that you make simple games, even imperfect games, and get them out there and actually ship something so then you can iterate on it and improve on it after it's out using market feedback rather than sitting there toiling away on a game for three months, six months, a year or more and probably never getting it out, right? Like my friend and like countless other developers who have done the same thing. So when you follow a strategy first approach in Roblox development, you kick 90% of the problems we're talking about to the curb. I'm gonna to explain to you what strategy first Roblox game development is in a little bit. That is the main thing I teach on this channel. Done is better than perfect. Too many devs are trying to make the most complex game in the world when they just started learning to script two days ago. It's just unrealistic, man. You aren't gonna make the next Bloxburg as your first game. Hate to break it to you, but you need to hear it because now look at the bright side, right? You're able to make simple games. You're able to get things done, right? Make an obby, make a tycoon, get something out there and do it much faster than trying to make your dream game first. And that way you're able to build more skill because you actually finished something. You're gonna have that quick win, that quick dopamine, and that's gonna motivate you to make even more games and make better games as you go on. And if you monetize it and actually promote it well, it's gonna make you money that'll help you to fund more projects that'll help you to have leverage 
and start to build a sustainable career for yourself on this platform that actually earns you real life money. Roblox development is not just a hobby. It is a career if you know how to turn it into one. And with the right strategy, you can make hundreds to thousands of dollars a month from Roblox development very quickly. All right, before we get to the big solution of how to temper your Roblox developer idealism, put strategy first in Roblox game development, and actually build a career for yourself, we have to go over the fifth mistake, not being focused on results. Most devs out here are only focused on being passionate about their work. Their only focus is on fun and enjoyment. I just want to make things I love, man. And there's nothing wrong with development being your hobby, but it will hold you back if you want to be successful. If you want to reach millions of visits like I have, if you want to earn millions of Robux, if you want to make a sustainable career on Roblox, you have to try to get results. You have to try to make money, whether you're taking commissions or you're making full games or making dev content. You have to try to get players. You have to try to get YouTube subscribers if you're making development content and teaching people on YouTube or making entertainment videos like Rodev does. And most Roblox developers aren't aiming for results. This holds them back. The reason is when you have tangible goals, you start to take better actions, right? So people who try to earn money naturally make more games and they actually try harder to get those games out there to people. So when you see new developers never monetizing their work and never striving for money, that lack of ambition is actually preventing them from making their games successful. But people think that passion alone will carry you to the top, when for most devs, it won't. The hobbyist mentality holds back developers. More devs need to be pragmatic. More devs need to be results focused. That doesn't mean that you don't have passion though. A lot of people think I'm saying don't have passion, but that isn't true. You can have passion for your work and aim to make money and get results at the exact same time. Hobbyists would love to make you believe that trying to make money from your work is a bad thing because when you show ambition, when you show drive, that exposes their own lack of ambition. So they have to try to pull you down. Oh, you're just making cash grab games. You're just soulless, right? They start hating on you, not out of genuine concern, but out of envy. And this is seen all over the Roblox developer community. They see successful games blowing up, and then they don't try to learn from those games and what they're doing right. They just label it as a cash grab. No wonder most Roblox developers fail. They aren't pragmatic. When I, as a serious developer, see grow a garden blow up or steal a brain rot, I don't sit there and say, these games are so stupid. They're ruining the platform. No, I just say, okay, this is reality. I'm gonna accept it as it is, and I'm gonna learn from it. Because they're doing something right to have millions of players online at a time. And for Grow a Garden to break the world record for most CCU on a Roblox game multiple times and get over 21 million players at once. They're making tens of millions of US dollars a month or more. I have to figure out what they're doing. And then I adapt my own approach based on that information. That's how serious developers think. So if you're watching this and you aren't focused on results, bear in mind the impact that's having on your career. So the solution to these problems comes down to adopting strategy first Roblox game development. And the best way to think of this is like this. Most Roblox developers think like artists. They're thinking of their games, their commissions, their UGC as works of art. And that's true. But you have to also think like the entrepreneur. And the entrepreneur sees those games, those creations as products that go into a marketplace. And products need to fulfill needs and wants of people in that marketplace or else they won't succeed. Every good businessman knows this. But the problem is when you tell this to Roblox developers, they get mad at you because they think you're saying, Get rid of passion. Don't love your work. Just make soulless cash grab games to extract as much money out of players' pockets on Roblox as possible, endlessly. You're watching this, you're smart. You can see that 
The entrepreneur is just thinking from a strategy first perspective. He's thinking, what is the most optimal approach that I can take in Roblox development to build a career, to make enough money from my games to sustain myself financially, to make enough money to build leverage and to hire teams to scale up my operations on Roblox and build a business. When you have hundreds of thousands of Robux that you've earned from commissions or or from making simple games, you can take that money and you can start investing it in new projects and you can pay UI designers, scripters, modelers, and other devs to make those games faster and make them better than you could on your own. But you were only able to get to that point because you thought with a strategy first perspective. You focused on doing things in your development career, whether that's learning a specific skill like scripting so you can make entire games or making simple games first rather than dream games first so that you could make money and gain capital, not to just ride off into the sunset with it and say, screw Roblox, I'm done with this, I've just made a bunch of cash and now I'm just gonna go buy a mansion and live my life. No, it's to build leverage and to expand your career. See, developers who approach this field like entrepreneurs as well as artists and add this to the equation become more successful. Do Big is a great example of this. They have bought up all kinds of games on Roblox. They pay all kinds of developers to work on these games. They pay all kinds of people to be project managers. They invest at a mass scale. They have one of the highest leverage operations on Roblox. They have a business. And like them or not, they have a strategy that has allowed them to become a monopoly, owning many of the top games you see on Roblox. And we can learn from them because they operate strategy first and not just following their heart blindly and hoping that making whatever they feel like brings them to success, they've been able to become one of the biggest businesses on this platform. Developers should take notes on this rather than hating on them. Same thing for Grow a Garden, right? A lot of devs are sitting here saying, that's just low quality cash grab slop. But if we actually sit down and we play the game, we're able to learn lessons about what made the most popular game on Roblox as successful as it is. That's how serious developers think. They look at what works already, they look at what's succeeding in the market, and they adopt it into their own approach to Roblox game development so they can become more successful themselves. And it's not that you never inject creativity or passion or unique ideas into your work, but that you put strategy first because you know that puts you in the most optimal position to succeed as a developer. And you aren't just gambling on your passion to magically take you to the top, right? Most devs are not skilled enough to carry out their passion projects. Most devs are not gonna sit down and make whatever they feel like and automatically become the next Grow a Garden with 21 million players online at peak. They just aren't gonna do that. They're gonna have to look at what the Roblox market wants, which includes ideas that have already been made and new ideas that fill a market gap and then serve that desire with a new project, with a new game, and then reap the rewards from making something that people actually wanted, right? Roblox development career strategy is what people are missing. And this is the only channel that goes this in depth on this. So subscribe now to Smarty RBX and watch this video here to learn more vital secrets about Roblox development success. See you there.